Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Unboxing Addict. It's been a while since we've uh, done anything on the channel, but today we're going to take a look at FreeNAS Coral and how to install Windows um, on FreeNAS Coral. Now these instructions were posted on the FreeNAS forums, but I know a lot of people are looking for a YouTube video to guide them through uh, the process. So we're going to go ahead and do that um, on the channel today. And so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have a share somewhere on your um, FreeNAS uh, server where you have stored your um, ISO for the Windows version that you want to install. In my case, it is um, in my IT share. So I've already created that share. <coughs> So once you have that there, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to go into the volume that you want to put Windows on. Now in my case, I'm going to do that in a brand new volume. So I'm going to create a volume for that. We're going to call this SSD. Um, I don't need any redundancy on this volume. So I'm just going to put my one two terabyte SSD in there. And we're going to go ahead and press save all right so FreeNAS is creating our volume and as soon as that finishes up we'll move on to our next step alrighty so our new volume has been created um, I did call it SSD because um, it is made up of just one uh, solid-state drive um, this drive was reasonably priced but it's also extremely fast and that's the reason that I chose to go with an SSD for this in particular um, uh, purpose for VMs. Um, so first I'm going to create a share. So we're just going to call this, I just need to create a quick SMB share. We're going to call this SSD. Um, and we're just going to go with standard stuff for this one. Okay. And that's just because if I need to store anything on that drive, um, I can. We're going to go over here, though, to data sets. The first thing we're going to do as far as creating our VM, we need to go to data sets. <clears throat> and we're going to press the plus button. And we're going to create a name. In this case, um, I'm going to call it Windows 2016 Server. Windows 2016 Server. Uh, actually, let's call it Windows Server 2016. And you have to cl click on Zvol because this is a Zvol that we're creating. And you need to select a size. For my purpose, I'm going to go with 250 gigs. It is large, but it's not really that big when you're thinking about a server instance of Windows. Um, or really, I mean, any instance. But I'm using this server solely for... Um, uh, web hosting and as a radius server for the network initially it's only going to be for web hosting which is one of the reasons I went with the SSD um, but that said I only need about uh, you know maybe 20 or 30 gigs but I'm going to give it 250 um, so we've created that all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our VM tab you can see I already have a Windows server running so <clears throat> I've already built one up but this one is going to be basically to replace this one because this was a 2012 server. I wanted to go with newer. I wanted it on the SSD. Um, so I'm going to power down that one actually. And then I'm going to come over here and we're going to hit this uh, plus button um, as soon as it shuts down my Windows server that I was already running. Alrighty, so... Um, now that I stopped my VM, we're ready to uh, create our virtual machine. So you're going to start by going up here and pressing on the plus button. And you're going to name the VM. So we're going to call it Windows uh, Server, actually, 2016. Um, if you're doing like Windows 10, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's the same instructions across the board. Put in there whatever is applicable to you. For data store, we're going to select the volume uh, that we just put the uh, 
that we just uh, added the um, the Z vol to. If you did just create it, you may need to log out and log back into FreeNAS Coral. Okay, you're going to want to come over here to Bootloader and select a UEFI, and then you're going to go over here to Guest Type and select Windows 64-bit. And we're going to select a number of cores. I'm going to go with, one, two, 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 I think, three cores. And I'm going to do four gigs of RAM. Actually, make it six. And we're going to press save. Don't be skimpy on the resources that you allot for it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop back in here, and we're going to come down here to devices. Now, there are five devices you need to add in order for this to work. Okay, like I said before, um, the instructions on how to do this are on uh, freenas.org in the forums. I will be posting a link to the forum, um, but this video is to guide you through it. All right, so we're going to come up here and press plus. First thing you need to do is add a disk. You want to do this right the first time because changing it is not an option. Um, if you go into change it, you're going to run into problems. I'm going to go ahead and call this server SSD. Um, and then the target path, um, we're going to go to that ZVOL that we created. So Windows Server 2016 was that ZVOL. We're going to hit select. We're good. Do not change this number, the 250 gigs. Do not modify it. You will run into issues with your um, uh, VM. It just won't won't run. So we're gonna go ahead and press save. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our CD-ROM. Um, we're just going to put Windows Server 2016 install. And then we're going to select where it's located. In my case, it's on tank in IT. And it is called Windows Server 2016. That is it. OK, and well, you're going to press Save. Next item you're going to add is your network uh, device, your NIC. So we're going to go over here. We're going to hit New NIC Device. We're going to name it. So you pick any name. I'm going to call it NIC1 because it is Network Interface Card 1. Um, the interface type. I am going to go with... Um, I'm just going to select EM1. Now over here, NIC type, um, we're going to go with E1000. I've been told that Vert.io doesn't work properly and then MAC address just leave it blank it'll auto populate um, for mode I'm gonna go with bridged because I want the IP address to be assigned by my um, by my network so we're gonna go ahead and press save and we need to add a graphics device so let's do that um, we're gonna call this one I don't know screen why not and you need to select the resolution you want um, <clears throat> on my other one I went kinda low I went with 1280 by 1024 um, I'm gonna do though 1920 by 1080 I'm gonna do HD on this one and my VNC port is 5900 and we're gonna enable VNC And we're going to press save. And then I'm not sure why, but apparently, um, according to the person who originally wrote the instructions, if you don't do a USB device, you have issues with your cursor. So just go to plus, new USB device, and you're just going to create a device tablet, um, which is how you can use your mouse. So we go ahead and do that. <clears throat> at this point we're going to come over here and press uh, save 
and then you need to come over here and select your boot device. Um, let's do server SSD and press save again. And we can see over here that it did complete. Um, so now that that's done, it looks like we should be ready to um, go ahead and give it a shot. See uh, what's up. Now the moment we press, one thing we want to do though, we do want to back out. So go back to VMs and open it up again. So it opens up this option for a VGA console. And it, it shows this only now because we did add the VNC um, device. The minute we press start, we want to open VGA console. The reason for this is we're going to need to press the button to launch a Windows installer. So we're going to go ahead and press uh, start. And as soon as it lets us, yep, click and press any key. Boom. And now it's loading our files. Um, from there, you just follow the Windows installer, um, which is pretty uh, straightforward, I think. Um, if you're doing this, hopefully you know how to use Windows installer. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask your questions in comments below. And um, as always, like and subscribe. Thank you.